For sure. I mean, I think any woman has, has dealt with insecurity and wanting to feel beautiful, but um, I think the more I get to know the Lord, the more beautiful I feel, and I know that may sound um, a bit like a Sunday school answer, but when you really understand his heart for you and how much he loves you and, and what he really thinks about you, um, then it's easy to, to love yourself, you know, and so um, that's just something that all I can say is just get to know Jesus better and then you'll see who you really are and who he made you to be. The, the few times that I've gotten a tour with art, female artists, it's always um, just such a refreshing experience, and the road isn't usually a, always a refreshing place. Um, so to have those relationships um, would be really special. So. I was homeschooled, so I, I would say my parents are a big influence on me, both musically and just in the faith and just in life. They're both um, people who love the Lord a lot and love each other and set a great example for me. Um, but I was a bit of a theater geek growing up, so I, I listened to a lot of show tunes and uh, didn't really listen to the radio till high school. And um, you know, I think that influenced me musically as well. My dad was a jazz trumpet player, so had a lot of that influence in my life as well. But yeah, all I mean, Stephen Curtis Chapman, Nicole Nordeman, those were like my, oh, they still are. I did a tour with Stephen and I'm still like dumbstruck every time I see him, so. <laughs> it's all the time, you know, when, you mix ministry and business, and there's such that line uh, as to what we do. It can be a um, something that's hard to, you know, see the black and white some days. And there are moments where you're like, okay, Lord, I messed that up. Please help me. Um, but I think the Lord is also really faithful. We listened to a sermon this morning, our pastor, Steve, who is here in Nashville, and, um, you know, talking about we need to pray for and, and seek humility. It's not something that will just happen naturally. We don't tend towards that, but if it's something that you're actively seeking in your life and praying for them, the Lord will definitely give you opportunities to, to humble yourself and, you know, just remember why you're doing what you're doing. Because I think when it's for our building our own kingdoms, it will never be satisfying. But when it's for him, it will be.